Hi everyone. Welcome to Gnan Cloud Garage. In this session, I'm going to talk about the key concept for this session is what are all the VMware VCF, VMware Cloud Foundation Solution Components or Software Bill of Material in short form BOM. So before understanding this question uh, description, we quickly recap VCF VMware Cloud Foundation Solution Overview and how did the VCF build the entire STDC stack, Software Defined Data Center stack? Once we clear about these two points, it's easy to understand all the components or software bill of materials. OK, so let's start with the first point. So we already discussed in our previous session. So VMware Cloud Foundation Solution Overview. So as we are aware, this VCF solution, the complete software stack, it consists of vSphere, vSAN, NSX security, uh, network and security, and also the LCM lifecycle automation. And it also includes the vRelays or vRelays suite. So vRelays suite means it consists of automation operations. That means vRelays operations and other component. When we combine all the software components, it's become as a VMware Cloud Foundation. So this software stack, we can run either on your edge location on-premises data center, or we can make it as a private cloud as well. And when we have a private cloud, we have a facility to integrate with the public clouds. So our native public clouds, AWS, or we can combine with our Azure or Google Cloud. When we combine private and public, so this solution also is considered as a hybrid cloud solution. Okay, And the benefit of this solution is, the key concepts are mainly three concepts. One is cloud operating model. So we can run it as a private cloud or hybrid cloud model. That is first benefit. And second benefit, along with our virtual machines, production virtual machine, we can also run cloud native applications like vSphere pod and Kubernetes. So Kubernetes means here vSphere is comes with the Tanju. So this Kubernetes cluster, we call it as a Tanju Kubernetes cluster. OK, this all is the second benefit. And the third benefit is mainly we can do automation for all updates and upgrades. All the software components upgrades are fully automated using LCM. OK, and the same points I just highlighted in the some description. So solution overview. So VMware VCF provides a future proof hybrid cloud platform uh, built on full stack hyper converged infrastructure and VCF provides a complete set of secure software defined services. So software defined services includes computing VSPA and storage virtual SAN, network and security NSX and Kubernetes management. We are using VSPA embedded feature Tanju and cloud management. We are using vRealize automation and the result is an agile, reliable and efficient cloud infrastructure that offers consistent infrastructure and operations across private and public cloud. OK, so this is the solution overview. But here one key question is how we are going to build or combine all the solution. That is the key point. So that point I will discuss in the next slide. So how did the VCF build the entire software defined data center stack? So whatever the software components we discussed, vSphere, Virtual SAN, NSX, and VRail suit, all are considered as a STDC stack. But how we are going to combine using VCF means we are combining how we are combining is the key component is STDC manager. So STDC manager means software defined data center manager. This is the key component. It is introduced in VCF. Suppose without VCF, if you plan to use this four individual component, we didn't get the STDC manager functionality. So STDC manager coming to picture only if you buy a VCF software STDC stack license, then only will get this component. So the benefit of this STDC manager is this STDC manager only helps to 
brought or built together by the stdc manager control plan using the stdc manager only we can able to combine all these key software components vspear nsx virtual san and we realize suit so we realize suit means it's consist of we realize automation we realize operations login site and lcm all the components comes with the we realize suit so this all combined using stdc manager so that we can able to automate day zero that means implementation task and uh, day zero design implementation and also the operations all the day two operations can be automated okay so that point i highlighted here so can we do deployment configuration policy based provisioning and we can also perform automation of patching and upgrades using lcm life cycle manager okay so hope we clear about one of the new component is stdc manager to make combine all the software component we need a stdc manager now let's talk about what are all the vcf solution components or this vcf stdc stack software bill of materials in short form bomb okay normally when we are uh, having conversation with the customers for the any new project implementation we have to submit a two types of bombs one is hardware bomb it consists of all the hardware peripherals information like uh, servers information for example hp dl380 and we have to include the network information like aruba switches and uh, we also include the storage components like we can include the hpe uh, nimble storage tripar or any of the other storage components we have to include that is the hardware bill of materials but when it comes to a software bill of material whatever the solution components includes all the software is comes under this bill of material so let's talk about that point now so vmware cloud foundation 4.4 currently we have the very latest version most of the customers using the latest version is 4.4 and 4.5 recently during the vmware explore vmware announced officially 4.5 also released but uh, it's publicly available by this month end or maybe this year and or next year first quarter definitely tentative dates they already announced so so very soon we will be getting the vcf 4.5 but until then i am just explaining the 4.4 software components and within the 4.4 software components whatever the products is coming all are consider all are a vmware products only and this all products only we consider as a software bill of materials and see the initial component main combined main key component in the vmware vcf is stdc manager 4.4 and other components for server virtualization vspear and it comes with the latest version 7.0 update 3 even official vspear 8 also announced maybe it will come soon and vsan 7.0 update 3 and another component network virtualization nsxt even nsx 4.0 also officially announced maybe soon these versions may be updated with 4.5 okay and we relate suit means we relate suit comes with this five components and workspace one access 3.3.6 version minimally and formally this version this is a idm only it's a vmware identity manager previous name that new name is workspace one access and we realize suit life cycle manager normally we realize suit life cycle manager currently it's minimally it comes with 8.6.2 version and we realize automation 8.6.2 and even as we are aware we realize name also changed recently to aria automation aria suit maybe once officially products are available to publicly that time we can plan to use aria until then i'm just using the whatever the official document says the product name that names only i'm listed here and we realize operations 8.6.2 and another component is we realize login site 8.6.2 and this all the uh, eight component or nine components are we are already familiar so sdc manager mainly for a to combine all the software stdc stack and this server virtualization vspa 7 we we are aware and the storage virtualization vsan we are aware and nsx also we are aware i already covered some basic concepts in our previous sessions and this life cycle manager i covered during the vra installation when we are uh, install vra first we need to configure lcm lcm will allow to install the idm and automation 
okay and the additional components are uh, operations manager so operations manager mainly for a dashboards reporting capacity planning and alerting all these capabilities comes with a we realize operations manager and the login site the name itself it says log insight that means it's mainly for a syslog server so centralized it will collect all the logs from all our vcf software components and keep it here so all the r cable logs comes to the we realize login site okay and in our next session i will explain about the architecture and some of the use cases okay that's it and another finally so this software building blocks mainly for a private cloud and we can also have a capable to integrate with the native public clouds okay so thank you if you are watching this video first time please do view like share and subscribe to gnan cloud garage channel and if you are already subscribed i appreciate all your support bye for now